Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to identify letters in your Microsoft Project Plan. Okay, so now, let's get started. And this is my project plan. So, in case after you start, kick off this project, and day by day, you want to check the progress of the, this project to see which task is behind or which task is ahead of the schedule. So, how to do it? Okay, you can see here on the left hand, I have the project task list, and on the right hand, you can see the run chart for this project. Okay, so basically, when you take a look into the run chart, you can see which task is behind or uh, has a schedule. Okay, so for, for example, you see here, we have a line, a blue lines here. This indicates that uh, this is a today, I mean the current date, current date of our project. And if you see any task uh, uh, on the left side of this line, it will, with the completed percent is less than 100%. So that means this task, that task is behind the schedule. Otherwise, if any task on the right, high, uh, right, right side of this line, if the status uh, of the completed is greater than 100%, so that means this task will be ahead of schedule. Okay. And in case you don't want to use the gun chart, so we have another way to view this in the task list. Okay. You click on the view, on the menus, and then you direct to the data section. Okay. In the data section, you see that we have a highlight highlight feature. Okay, just go ahead to select the values in the highlight drop down list here. Okay, and click on this one, and you can see that we have the letters. Letters. Okay, and then after you select the highlights for the letters, it will be highlight all of the, the task is behind the schedule in yellow color. Okay. For other tasks, is in the white color. That means there are some tasks it completed or it is still not behind the schedule. Okay. I will change it to no highlight. And in the filter, you can use the filter option and select the let task here. So that means after you select the filter, to display only the red task in your project so it will remove all of the tasks which is, which is not the uh, uh, let okay so here and you can also even do some the group by yeah group by so in the group by basically is by default we don't have the, the, the this uh, group by let task but you can do some customization by click on by clicking on news group by okay, option here. Yeah. Okay, so in this video, I just focus on the built-in function of the Microsoft project. So I don't want to go more detail in the group by. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all. And if you see any issue, let me know. Okay, thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. See you later in other video.